Hi guys, welcome to Horizon Cosplay. I'm Ben. I'm Annabelle, and today we are unboxing eight crates of our ginormous cosplay haul that we got a couple of videos ago. And we're going to see what's inside all of these. We haven't opened them yet, so it's much of a surprise for us as it is for you. And, well, let's get going. So, first guys, we are opening this box. Now, we chose this box because it happened to have three vintage-style costume-making books. And... Ooh, okay. They caught our attention straight away. So I'm just going to say right now, I'm probably going to keep all the books for myself because I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to paper. But anything and everything that you might see, we'll be putting up on our store. Links will be in the description below. Okay, well, let's have a look at these books. Well, the first one is The Gallery of English Costume Picture Book Number 8. Ooh, Costumes for sport. It's got such a pretty cover. And I have to say, they look absolutely hideous. Oh, that's not hideous. too bad. No, no, I was referring more to those. Swimwear. He's referring to Victorian swimwear. Absolutely unflattering in every way. But still, it's a very interesting book. I think that's good. The next one we're going to start with is the Stage Costume Source Book. This one has a very, very interesting color because it, it almost looks medieval in its style. So oh, that's awesome. I think it's like a book of all the... Oh, yes, it is. It's, it's all the period armor and such from medieval times to, I'd say, Tudor mm. times, if I had to guess. I can't wait to do... Um... But that one's quite cool. Like, this is Greek and Roman armor. Um, costume design from Shakespeare's novels such as A Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh, it's even got set designs. What? Set designs. Oh, no, that's cool. Got Oliver Twist, Romeo and Juliet. All right, that one's a good book. The next one is The Evolution of Fashion, Pattern and Cut from 1066 to 1930. That is a vast span of time. This book looks a very well loved. About, nine, about 920 years worth of fabric designs in there. Oh, so detailed as well. It's even got oh, the signs! Oh, it's got the patterns! Ben, it's an actual pattern book! What's the next book? The next one is Renaissance Fashions. Oh, it's even got a list of shoes in the back. Wow. And headdresses. The last of our lovely books that we've got is Theatrical Costumes in Full Colour. Okay, that is pretty amazing. That's, that's pretty cool. All right, well, that's all the books. Right, the next we have is a bag of assorted buttons in different styles. So I think that's actually beading, actually, beaded buttons. Next, you've got buttons I would assume you'd put on a sailor's outfit because they've got the little anchor. Oh, that's cute. We've got this clear chrome style buttons. So we've also got some like assorted belt buckles here, but they've got some quite interesting designs. Like, that's an elephant. Oh, wow, it's heavy. It's like proper metal mm. as well. And you've got, I don't know what they Butterfly. Is it for a necklace, maybe? Oh, wow, we're going real old fashioned here. An original style <laughs> belt buckle. Very, actually, solid metal. It's quite nice. Oh, so in this box, we have what looks to be old car parts that we have a, a bicycle chain wow. i'm sure that will come in handy for something very clean no it's a belt is it a belt yeah look oh. it's got the catch on one end bicycle chain belt and it's got the the latch on the other we've got some nice little gold bits some springs and another this is like steampunk chain. style kind of thing yeah lots of cogs and gears then in this box we have a lot of sparkly gemstones of varying sizes and then let's see oh my god we've got fluorescent, fluorescent buttons we've got our the, well, it can be interpreted two ways. You've got Netherlands-style ribbon or French-style ribbon. <laughs> oh, some blue ribbon as well. Very nice. Soviet Union hat pins. And then last bag, before we repack this crate. Oh, is fabric. assortment of... Oh, fabric. Wasn't expecting that. So we've got blue, shiny, kind of pleathery type stuff. And then we've got what appears to be like a stretch cotton almost. Correct? That is definitely full brown, browny black pleather. We've got an orange form of netting. Tulle. It's called tulle. Oh, tulle. Sorry. I wasn't complaining. I was just informing. I like a that one. African style of like checkered fo fake po silk. Polyester. We've got a nice... Grey silver. I am honestly have no idea what this is. And then and, we've oh got a, my gosh, it's lavender! A lavender version of the same that, kind of fabric. I think is actual silk. Right, this box appears to be a major box of different lengths and sizes of elastic. Although she does seem to have There's quite a bit. There's in here as well. But I'm never going to have to buy elastic again. Put it that way. So we've got one, two, three, four, five reels of elastic. And then we've got a oh a bag of zips. Of varying colours. Yes, that's what we want. A roll of hook and eyes. So we've got the hooks and the eyes. What's this? This is shiny. We have some nice sparkly bracelets, necklaces. I'd say necklaces more than bracelets. They're chokers. Oh, lace appliques. Those are nice. Oh, we've got bells. Jingle, jingle. Perfect for Christmas. 
That's brilliant. Bag of hair clips and Sequin so on. Sequin Yeah, sequin appliques. Ah, I'll drop some. Bag of... Poppers. Poppers. Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't drop it. And another bag of various appliques. That takes care of box number two. Six more to go. So to get through sorting through all these boxes today, we decided morning alcohol was going to be a thing. Cheers. All right, next one. Oh my god, I see so much glitter. That's going to need rewinding. I'll untangle this and right. show them what else is Ooh, in there. We've got more like lace appliques. <laughs> so fun fact, guys, these are little wiggly lace things. I actually brought about a hundred of them right before we left New Zealand, which you can see in the first video I ever posted on YouTube. But this blue cornflower stuff is very nice. Oh, crikey, there's more. We've got white, fluorescent green, and fluorescent pink. Now we've got like this glitter beaded style tulle applique, quite delicate. Then we've got, ooh, it's a very wow. green version, a very scaly design. Oh, look, we've got two on one reel here. Like this bronzy colored sequins, which are quite nice. And then next to it is almost like overlap snake scale design, but very thin. Mm. Oh my God, this is almost overkill. Look at that. Oh, talk about sparkles. Very, very bling bling. Little pom pom ribbon. And then, ooh, I think this is, yeah, it tassel, oh, tassel, tassel ribbon. That's, the word that's what I'm looking for, people. We've got like two packs, massive packs of fantastic tassel oh. ribbon. Look at that. Oh, look at the sparkles. So this is like almost crocheted. God, it's just gorgeous. It's so wide and it's got the pink and then the blue and then like a really dark blue with sparkles on. And then the other thing we've got, this has hook and eye. I don't know what this is, but it's full of gemstones. It looks homemade. We've got more colored sequin ribbon, silvery gray and a greeny emerald color. Jesus, there is so much in here. We then have, I would call it ladder ribbon. So this is a multicolored, very lightly woven ribbon. It's very, very delicate by touch. There's this reflective ribbon. So it's like got this lovely reflective material on it. You might want to use that as like an edging for a skirt or something. Uh, girly bear, I'm trying to wind this here, please. Then we have more blue sequin of ribbon, applique, whatever you want to call it. Ooh. Are those beads? All right, it's gonna uh, sound really bad, but they look like gold ant eggs. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look, there's a yellow and purple one as well. I like the yellow and purple, but like the, the blue, blue and, white and white is nice. It's good edgy for a skirt, I think. Wait, let's see what else we have. Not a lot of the red, red and gold, but we have a lot of blue and gold. Look, there's more uh, sequin ribbon here again, but that <gasps> one's quite I gorgeous. I love this one. Oh, look, we've got a bag of feathers, guys. White feathers. All right, well, that's that crate done. Well, I can tell you straight from now, that is a whole lot of elastic. Of elastic. And there are five reels of these. We have some maroon velvet ribbon just in a bag we have oh a nice little thing of golden red ribbon we have this which is silver and oh my god gorgeous oh look i like these stars again not much of it but they're pretty cute and there's a lot guys of like lace yeah. ribbon so we've got um, some yellow some brown wait pull out this pink one because that is pretty darn nice we have boning okay so that was box four which means we are officially just halfway over the halfway line oh this one looks sparkly we have some lovely white sequins silver single row sequins there as well assortment of chains and gold ribbon and applique designs we have some silver and gold sequin woven through ribbon Ooh. Ooh, it's like a bronzy sequin ribbon Now that thing. one looks like dragon scales. And this one is like, oh, this would go so well for Ariel's tail. We then have some blue, not quite as much of that one, but it's still very nice. Oh, this is elastic as well. They're all elastic. We've then got this one, which is not elastic, but it is woven kind of metallic thread with sequins in. So that's quite nice. And then we've got the same here in a green. Some Gold tassels. beaded tassels and silver tassels as well. We've got two, a bag of it underneath as well. So we've got some belly dancer coins and a nice gold and black ribbon. Wait, is that an applique? I think so. So we've got a sequin applique in here as well. Okay. So right, the last three boxes, people, are fabric. 
lots Ooh. and lots of assorted gems of fabric. Now, this fabric caught my eye as soon as it came out of the truck. It starts off like a nice light purple and then goes into a nice and dark. Oh my god, guess what this is? What? Quality lycra. Well, this is three meters by 160 centimeters of quality lycra with this lovely like tie-dye bubble design. I don't know if you guys can see that over there. So gorgeous. But it looks absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we then have some more quality lycra, two meters by 160 centimeters wide in rainbow, purple, yellow, and pink color. What do you got there? This is 12 meters by 150 centimeters wide, crepe back satin. Oh, wow. That is a lot of satin. So this is crepe chiffon, chiffon, eight meters of chiffon with glitter by 148 centimeters wide. And there are two colors in there, a salmon pink and a peachy pink. Sorry guys, she says salmon really weird. Oh. It's salmon pink. One meter of mixed lace. I have got three meters of rainbow glitter material here. Can you imagine a Slytherin dress made out of that? I think it's I gorgeous. can, but it would be better as robes. Then and then we've got two we've got packages got of this black and silver stuff. And this package is six meters, and then that I would imagine is probably about a meter and a half. It's got some quite interesting fabrics. Again, don't forget, anything that you see here, check on our website, because anything that we don't want will be put up there straight away. Yeah, and if it's not there right this second, just maybe follow our shop, because it's going to take me a while to put all of this up for sale. And also, you know, I am going to keep a little bit for myself, just a, just a tad. Right, oh, guys? We actually had a dress made out of this fabric. It's basically the kind of thing a swimsuit's made out of, maybe a bit high quality. And we've got this lovely blue butterfly one. And, and then on the back, like, stars. lovely waves and stars in it. It's quite, so, it's quite reflective, guys. So if you can't see it, there'll be good photos of it on the website. So you know how we've been watching oh, Sleepy that. Princess in Demon King Castle? This one won't that work. fabric totally reminds me of her, the star one. The next one again, guys, we've got, oh, Jesus, 160 centimeters wide and four meters long of, again, quality lycra. Nice. This is like a disco pink, I'm going to call it. This one doesn't have a label on, but I think it might be, again, silk. Is 130 centimeters by five meters, a beautiful forest green. Next, guys, we've got crepe back satin again, 13 meters at 115 centimeters wide. That is it's a lot of satin. Purple. It's absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. So nice. 12 meters of the same stuff, but in a lovely, like, fiery orange color. Yeah, I. And then we have plain satin in like a lovely bronzy brown color. Well, guys, we've entered the world of pink, and I mean pink. This is also the last box that we have, so it'll be interesting to see what we've got in here. So, this is just pink, two pink. meters of what I'd say is pink satin. Very and nice. we have a nice grass and green to go with the buttons and everything we saw earlier, or yellow, and then we have a green as well. We have two meters of this sequin satin patterned fabric. So cute. Which is quite cute. We have pink dragonfly netting. That is adorable. Four meters of that. That's more netting with this lovely little embroidered Hope pattern it on it. That's cute. More of the pink satin. Some light pink lace at two meters. That's cool, whatever it is. It's flannel material, a sunset yellow. We have a nice dark blue, looks to be some kind of cotton. And we have four and a half meters of this pink, again, pink flannel material of some kind. That is the eight boxes of material making pieces. The next four boxes that you're gonna see are all dress pattern. And that video will be going up next week, so make sure you subscribe to make sure you don't miss it. Otherwise, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to tap that like button down below. And with that, we will see you next week and have a beautiful day and goodbye.